Hi, this is Alex. I want to do a re video review of the Sima X5C quadcopter. I've had mine for about two months now and I thought I'd just share with you a few hints and tips and as well as a test flight of uh, my experiences. Okay, first thing I hope you can see on the quadcopter, I have put a sticker with my name and phone number. This is very useful if you lose your quadcopter if it flies away, which is exactly what happened with this one. When I'd had it two days, I had a fly away and I actually got it back nearly a month later, but that's a long story. But it was in perfect condition and flies perfectly. I suggest you do this. Second, there's a few hints on installing the battery. <coughs> I use some 650 milliamp hours bat batteries. The original is 500 milliamp hours. This gives you a slightly longer fly time. It's a little bit bigger, so it's a bit of a snugger fit, but goes in quite easily. And, so I said, there we go. And one hint I say, I, I can mention is that when you plug it in, is to actually not push too hard. Just plug it in lightly, because if you plug it in too hard, what happens, it pops the other side of the connector out of the back and you have to then undo the whole quadcopter, take the props off, the top off and reinstall it. Quite a mission, quite a lot of work. Okay, pop it in, make sure the lights are on and away we go for a test We'll light. now bind the quadcopter to the remote control, switch it on, push the stick forward, back and hopefully she takes off. Sometimes you have to do this once or twice. You have to give it a little bit of a punch when you take off to get it off the ground. Put it into high mode. And First, it's always better to fly with the orientation of the quadcopter facing away from you so that on your control stick that forward is forward and back is back, right is right, left is left and as soon as you turn it around using the throttle stick to your it around, uh, your orientation then becomes reversed if it's facing you. You'll notice I've taken the propeller protectors as well as the camera off. The camera's not very good quality and it flies a lot better and you get a lot longer flight time without the unnecessary accessories as I call them. I have several spare batteries as well. I have two other quadcopters as well as this. There's a SEMA or SIMA X8C as well as a DJI, DJI Phantom 3 and I must admit that this particular SIMA X5 is my go-to copter of choice. It's lovely to fly. Take it out, bring it up a bit, bring it back towards me, swing to the right, swing to the left, and forward we go again. Absolutely beautiful flyer. Forward flip. Right flip. Left flip. Let's take it out again. And bring it back to me again. Absolutely wonderful flyer. I normally put my stopwatch on when I start flying so I can keep a look at keep a watch on the time 
and I didn't do it today, I forgot, but usually when I estimate that the battery's starting to run low, I'd say seven and a half to eight and a half minutes flight time, I then generally try to keep it close to me so that I've got a soft area to land on. Because what happens is if the battery does go flat, the quadcopter doesn't cut off, it actually lands automatically but fairly quickly. So I like to have a nice flat, flat nearby surface to land on, soft surface. It all seems to be okay, let's just take it out one more last time and bring it back again. and land it softly. And once it landed, a fairly important thing is to immediately turn the controller off. Because what happened to me in the past was that I didn't do this. Walked away from the quadcopter, inside my house in fact, knocked the throttle switch up and the quadcopter took off by itself outside and disappeared. That is how I lost it after only, only owning it for two days at the time and uh, I was very lucky to get it back so remember always switch it off and thank you for watching